Hey, what's going on developers? This is Sakura Dev Channel and welcome back to the third episode of Drizzle ORM Comprehensive Course. In this video, we're going to write our first query with Drizzle ORM. In the previous video, I promised that we would talk about the relationships between the tables in this video. But somehow I figured out it would be better if we first talk about how we can write our queries with Drizzle ORM and then move to the section about the relationships between the tables in Drizzle. Okay, so with that in mind, let's write our first query in Drizzle ORM. Okay, in order to write our CRUD operation with Drizzle, first we need to create a DB client with Drizzle. So I'm going to create a global DB client with Drizzle for all CRUD operations throughout our application. So every time we need to do a CRUD operation, we don't need to create a new instance of the Drizzle DB client. We just need to import the global DB client and just use it. So in order to create that in the DB directory inside the SRC directory of our project, I'm going to create a file called index.ts and inside it first we need to instantiate a new postgres client so here i'm going to say const client equals to new client and we can import the client from the pg library okay and then we need to pass an object and inside that object we need to initialize the connection string so here i'm going to read the connection string from our env file so in order to do that i'm going to say process dot env dot database url so again if you want type safety and auto completion for your env variables just watch this video okay and then we need to connect the client so here i'm going to say client dot connect okay and then we just need to create and export a drizzle client with this postgres client that we've just created so here i'm going to say export const db equals to drizzle function which comes from the drizzle orm slash node postgres and then we need to pass the postgres client here and then we need to specify our schema so first we need to import our schema so our schema is in the schema.ts file in this file so i go back to the index file and here let's import the schema i'm going to say import everything as schema from the schema file okay so now here we need to pass an object as a second argument to this drizzle function and then here inside the object we can specify our schema so i'm going to say schema and set it to schema that we've just imported okay we're done with our global db client and everywhere throughout our application when we need to do some CRUD operation we can use this global db client okay so let's save this and here i'm going to go to the home page of our application and here we can write our first query with the global db client okay in the next js version 13 if you want to use your db client inside your pages make sure that your page is a async server component and keep that in mind that we can't use the db client inside client components okay so here let's say we want to fetch all the users from the users table so here i'm going to say const result equals to await since it's a async operation our db which you can see we have imported from this file so since our db client is in the index file inside the db directory we don't need to specify the index file here just slash db will do the trick for us okay so now we can use the db client so i'm going to say db.select okay and then chain the from function and then we pass the users table from our schema let's import the users from the slash db slash schema file and that's it with this line of code we retrieve all the users from the users table so now let's render the result into our page so here i'm going to use the json.stringify function and just pass the result okay so now let's run our server to see it works or not but first we need to run our postgres docker container so i'm going to right click on the docker compose file and then click on the compose app okay so now let's run the server let's click on that so as you can see the drizzle orm retrieved two records for us from our users table so let's go to the adminer okay let's choose the postgres go to the test db and select the users table and you can see i've already inserted two dummy users inside our users table so we can see the first is john doe and the second is steve doe so if i go back to the home page of our application you can see that the first one is john doe 
and the second one is Steve Do. And yeah, so in this way, we can write a simple query with Drizzlr. And yeah, I think that's it for this section. And in the next section, we're going to write some more advanced query with Drizzlr. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get informed about the next video. And if you like the video, that would be icing on the cake. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye bye.